Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today we are playing the Thunderbolt because I got some requests for classic Thunderbolts and why not play it? Why the hell not? It is a 65 ton Inner Sphere Heavy Mac with huge hitboxes and very weird hardpoint composition. But um, sometimes, sometimes you gotta give some love to the underdogs. And honestly, this is actually quite an interesting build here. Now let me talk about that for a second before we dive into the games. We have a laser vomit build or a laser barrage build or whatever you want to call it. We have two large pulse lasers, we have four ER medium lasers. The ER mediums and the large pulse sync up very well in range. We have about 400 meters on all of them. And the interesting thing about the Thunderbolt here is that we have two AMS hardpoints and we're gonna use them so that we can defend ourselves against the nasty, nasty missile carriers. One and a half tons of ammo I think is enough in most cases and um, if you're running out of ammo the game should be half over anyway and you should have you know close distance enough to actually engage the missile bolts at point blank range and then you invalidate their missiles and then yada 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 and so on you will destroy them. The heat management is quite okay. We have uh, 17 heat sinks. We also have some interesting quirks and let me quickly go to the store in order to show it to you. So if we go over to Battlemax, Abby, and uh, we go for the Thunderbolt, which is down here, and uh, take a look at the 9S, we will see that this thing has uh, energy heat, minus 5%, energy cooldown, minus 10%, missile cooldown, completely ignoring that, but then laser duration, as well as some PPC stuff that we also ignore. But the heat and the cooldown and the duration is quite nice. It's very, very handy for what we have in mind here. Keep in mind, guys, if you want to poke, you have the large pulse lasers on the high mounts here. You can easily do that and the mediums are spread over your max. So um, if you are not really comfortable in your situation, fall back, try to ridge peak an enemy with just the two large pulses and wait for a better situation where you can then follow up with all of the damage. So just in case. We have some skills too, so let me quickly talk about that. Obviously, laser duration as well as heat gen and some cooldown as well as range on the firepower tree. That's kind of a no-brainer. We have laser weapons only, so we take the laser duration nodes. We also have a good amount of structure on the side torsos. And since I was saying earlier that the hitboxes of the mech are not the greatest, you really want to protect those side torsos. So skeletal density is what you should go for here because you get a lot of raw hit points out of the skills here. We also go with the AMS overload, obviously, because we have two of them. So don't hesitate to take them when you're traversing down the survivability tree. And um, the remaining points are very obvious too. We are running a hot build, so cool run is the way to deal the damage, is to deal the damage over time. And then we have rated deprivation as well as a double cool shot plus a UAV. And that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you want more of that. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing the HPG Manifold. We are gonna shoot their lucky eye, very important. Otherwise, you won't win. Uh, it's just not possible. <laughs> Now, uh, anyhow, we're gonna go to probably the Echo 5 area. It seems that we are mostly on the right side and we only have one assault mech. So, gentlemen, start your engines. I believe this is gonna be a very mobile NASCAR run around in circles match. Uh, let's see about that. Only one assault mech on our side means that the enemies only have one assault mech too. That is uh, the quick play rule. If the matchmaker can assemble that like that, then they will try to do so. And there's a wide circle, as you can see already. Uh, I really want to take the top. Can we make that happen? I'm not gonna go uh, and do it alone, that's the thing. Also, nice strike. Going for the linebacker. Let's take top. Linebacker is uh, not quite the only one, but hey. We have only two enemies here. Okay, it's solid damage there. One more. Cool. That was damn good. Alright, we're gonna go over here now. Destroy that arm. And yeah, we are quite hot. Stay on top. Behind us, guys. Uh, Echo 4. Echo 4. Ramp. Echo 4 ramp. Alright, pop turrets there. We're gonna use this pillar as cover to the right side while we were uh, waiting over here or somebody to pop up, also cooling our mech down. Uh, our AMS is doing a good job right now. Uh, we have a bunch of AMS and the team has arrived. Hooray! Hooray! Watch Echo 5 Ramp 2, guys. Um, but yeah, it seems that we are making a push forward now. Hello, little kid fox. Go for the linebacker, he's very damaged already. Linebacker, please. It's Delta. Oh, wait. They have two linebackers. Oh, that's interesting. 
That's definitely time for the cool shot. Oh, I couldn't get this guy. And we are down by two. Okay, that's wonderful. Not. Not, not, not. Okay, more pull up there. Mm, can we come back from this? We have to be a little bit more aggressive. We need to get some kills here. Otherwise, we'd lose the game instantly. Very good. Get on top again. There's a Hellbringer that needs killing. And the linebacker. Hellbringer is caught. Massively caught. One shot on the Hellbringer. And then there's an Urban Mag with a Rock too. Oh my god. Hey, Urby, can you, can you not? This is not an option. Thank you. Alright, if you see a Hellbringer, kill him. And I'm kind of stuck here. I want to get into the fight again. I'll bring out one shot, as I was saying. Come on, let's push forward to him. Alright, let's do it. Our light makes us skirmishing. The Vapor Eagle trying to get away from us, but he lost his sight torso, which is great. That's a huge advantage. I'm gonna pop a UAV here. The Hellbringer down. No, oh, but we have an awesome. And the awesome is destroyed. Take top again. I'm taking top again. Um. All right, let's go back to our sweet spot here. There's a Warhammer coming up. Acquired. Still the linebackers. Warhammer is caught, guys. Uh, not quite, but almost. Here comes the linebacker. It's the fresh linebacker, sadly. Sadly, sadly, and... Wow. Cataphract. Ooh, not good. How's the cataphract, by the way? Um, override shutdown. It's a thing that I don't want to hear right now. Okay, going for the linebacker. I'm gonna push him. See, I don't have any... Oh, wait, I still have AMS ammo. That should have been a kill, honestly. Alright, let's dive down. I think he's dead, right? Somebody got the kill here. Yeah, that was a kill. Shortly after... Shortly after I was dropping down here. Taking high ground again. On the hunchback, left side also, guys. Ah, uh, override! Give me your side torso and we got him. Okay, so his heat management is completely off now. Uh, oh, wrong button. I wanted to go for my arm laser. But hey, we got this. This is fine. We are 11 and 6 and I believe the last enemy, since he's not on top, he might be in the basement. Have you checked the basement yet? Hello, hello, hello. Ah, let's do it then. Let's do it. My mech is not in the best condition anymore, but I think I can... Oh, I'm getting shot here. Herbie, no! Herbie got me. I'm, I'm getting Herbie-nated here. Delta 5, guys. Woo! I'm gonna pay for it, Mr. Urban Mac. Alright, we almost used up all of our AMS ammo. And we have survived. That was cool. Nice job, everybody. I thought in the middle of the game, or actually at the beginning of the game, that it was over already since we lost two people very early on. But we, uh, you know, clenched onto life and we got it in the end. We got two killing blows, 10 assists, 4 kill most damage dealt, 993 damage done as well as 5 components destroyed. We destroyed 406 missiles, which is okay. And that's the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, second game of the day. We are playing the Forest Colony, we are playing Domination, and I think we're gonna do something like an NASCAR here, as in running around the centerpiece of the map. It just feels so natural. I really hope that our Assault Max can catch up, and I really hope that uh, my team is not pushing too aggressive into the right side here. So this is where I want to be, this is a nice piece of cover, and uh, if the enemies are showing up there, which they do already, alright, we can sure shoot them. Uh, let's go for heat vision, getting that extra uh, light mech, or something with ECM. Target I assume it's a light mech. The hunchback, though. Hmm. Yeah, the hunchback was... Okay. I guess that's fair. I got a fistful of rockets to the face. <laughs> Just standing here. I wanted... I, I thought I was uh, actually uh, shielded against the enemy side there. And those were not rockets, those were MRMs, by the way. Guy again. Yeah, good thing is that our AMS is doing a good job here. And you know what? We're gonna try to find another angle on the enemies on the right side. Our heat is a little bit high anyway, so we're gonna take the time to reposition, cool down, and at the moment when we are coming around the corner here again, we should be cold once more. I see smoke. Is that guy dead? No, it's not. Oh, okay. I, sh I think I should be fine-ish, honestly. Um, 
Yeah, not against those guys. Not against all of them there. God damn it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so no thank you. I don't want any of that. Diving down to cover. That was really good. And he wasted a lot of fire to the side there. This is not a good spot anymore. So what are we gonna do? We reposition again, cooling down, grouping up, and try to find another angle on the enemy. This is a cool firing line situation here. This is different from NASCARing. All right, that was good. So at the moment, uh, Stormcrow is attracting a lot of fire from the enemy. We're gonna use that to our advantage. Just pushing through here. Oh, my arm is about to fall off, but now the big guys are coming. Um, Okay, guys, let's choose a side, left or right. Affirmative. Left, so it seems. I'm gonna try to watch this. Shadowhawk, MRMs, all right. Is he gonna pop up? Yeah, he will. I'm on the gray death. Uh, sh yeah, gray death, actually. Medium pulses. Medium pulses and MRMs. Uh, let's turn around again. I think he's still there. We can still engage him. Good thing is we don't need to care about armlock or anything anymore. Because we have no arm laser anymore. On the Banshee. On the Banshee, Charlie. Go for center. Okay, I'm gonna take the damage so my team can follow up. Good shot. That's a king crab. Okay, never mind. Let's get out of here. Okay. Oh, moving. That's so much damage. I'm trying to splash it as much as possible. But we need more max in this position. Really hope that my... My use of armor was helpful on the side there. Maybe my team could have done something there. I don't know. King Crab is overheating himself. That's good. I need I need cover. I need teammates. What about the left side? Can we make a push to the left side? Is that possible? All right. Important thing is that I'm not getting hit anymore. Is he? Is he dead? I don't know. Man, my mech is in a horrible spot. Very horrible condition. All right. Salt Max. Pushing slightly forward. I'm gonna stay behind the Cyclops, using his broad shoulders as my shield. Trying to peek beyond it. Okay, Blood Ass. Blood Ass Center, Foxtrot. Ah! Uh, I mean, we got something. That's a component destroyed. And that is too much cheat. Too much cheat. Alright. Okay, let's cool down. Let's chill. And wait for my moment to come. The Phoenix Arc, let's go. Oh, he's getting destroyed already. Some laser burns. I think we can go all in now. Let's be super aggressive. That guy is all LRMs though. Eh, not quite. There are guys behind us. It's nine and six. This is not over yet. God damn it. Okay, let's try to do a sneak attack. It's all about... Can I hit him before they hit me? Are all of them down already? On this side? Oh, it seems like it. Oh, never mind. The last two guys are the Wolfhound and the Nightshear. Alright! At that point, I think we got it. Come over here, little one. Where's the Wolfhound? Is he gonna push through? It kind of seems like it. Ah, oh, we get another shot out and he shut down. And we got him! So, I want to believe that my sacrifice actually enabled my team on the right side there when I was trying to pull away. Because the enemies were trying to kill me and they're investing so much firepower into my mech. As you can see, the, the King Crab was overheating for it. And my teammates could shoot the enemies while I was trying to retreat and I actually think they did. So, good job team. We didn't get a killing blow here, but we had 11 assists and 3 kill most damage dealt, as well as 673 damage done and 5 components destroyed, 335 missiles destroyed. That is your daily dose for today. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you want more of that, hit the bell icon to get the notifications when a new video comes out and I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.